the obvious facts that he has at some time done manual labor, that he takes snuff, that he is a Freemason, that he has been in China, and that he has done a considerable amount of writing lately, I can deduce nothing else. Who is able to deduce this kind of thing by only looking at a person? Only Sherlock Holmes, of course. One hundred books you must read? Number thirty-five. The Works of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Common Myths About Sherlock Holmes Myth number one, that he was real. You probably know this one already. He's fictional. There is no 221 Baker Street in London. But the character was based on a doctor that the author knew, who was also brilliantly deductive. Myth number two. Holmes always says, elementary, my dear Watson. The fact is that Holmes says elementary, and he many times says, my dear Watson, but he never actually combined the two together. Myth number three. Holmes wears a deerstalker hat and cape. The fact is that Conan Doyle never described Holmes wearing such a hat. It was the guy who illustrated the stories that put this hat on Sherlock's head. In all, Conan Doyle wrote four novels and five collections of short stories featuring Sherlock Holmes. Conan Doyle's mysteries were not the first written, but Sherlock Holmes and his sidekick Dr. Watson became the model for many other detective writers. A great Sherlock Holmes quote, when you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Maybe you're not ambitious enough or have time enough to read the whole Sherlock Holmes canon, but you must read at least one story. I recommend The Adventure of the Speckled Band. And now, just a little poetry to brighten your day. In a Station of the Metro by Ezra Pound. The apparition of these faces in the crowd Petals on a wet, black bough.